so cool. It was like down here this morning and it's already, oh, I moved it, scared the shit out of me. Watch the water. It's CO2. Bump. That's the gases releasing so it doesn't burst that out. And in here is fresh ginger, organic ginger with fresh organic pineapple juice, fresh organic lemons, and organic sugar. And this is a no glue non-GMO yeast. And that is my CO2 breather, I guess you'd call it. I forget what the name of it is. CO2 burper goes. And there's my cork. And I am making a ginger pineapple lemon ale. Oh, fabulous. So let's move to project two. There's all my ginger. Um, these are ones that I made by hand. Let me see if I can get the air going on that so you can hear it. Do you hear that? <laughs> That's how much CO2 is coming off of these. These aren't doing the CO2 because I think it's because it has the pop top, but those are cute anyway. But I'm probably gonna do them in these where I get my organic juice and the yeast, you see the yeast it made? This is from a ginger bug. So there's no prefab yeast like this one. Hear it? Yeah, that's why the lids pop off, because <laughs> of the CO2. So that yeast is what, what heals you. Look at this yeast that it's making from ginger. This is made from ginger, diced up ginger. So let me take you to project three, besides the garden. This is my ginger bug. This is ginger, sugar, and water. You use a quarter cup of this in seven days, add it to any juice that you would like, pomegranate, cherry, take your pick. And from that ginger is the lactobacillus. The lactobacillus makes a healthy yeast. That yeast then makes these beverages that you can second ferment. So you take a quarter cup of that, add it to a gallon of room temperature. Um, juices, whatever it is you wanna make. You can make the Dr. Pepper flavor. You can make root beer, you can make anything. And <clears throat> I did a ginger pineapple because I already had it done. You sieve the bug a quarter cup of the bug in the gallon of room temperature, um, put a cap on it and let that breathe for three, let it ferment for three days, much like you do an ale or beer or a lager. And when you're done with that, you bottle it in the Grouch bottles with the flip top so they don't explode. And you can put them down in your basement, keep them cool and then pop them out for the summer and the spring and drink them all through the winter. And if you know a ginger farmer, yay. But I have a whole book of drinks that you can make and those are pure 12 strain um, lactobacillus not made from milk so that's the update on fermentation i'm going to add it to my youtube so you guys can see the process and how much easier it is to do it in that big gallon jar but you can still do it in a regular jar and you can still use it in a mason jar so you, you can do it any way you want to but that rig cost me 12 dollars it's worth all the headache in the world plus you get lots of bubbles so I think the next thing I want to make is a ginger champagne. Um, very low alcohol, just enough to kill whatever's in your stomach, <laughs> but not enough to drop. Much like a kombucha. So, pippy stop. So you can get your kefirs and do second ferments in there. You can get your kombucha and do second ferments in that big gallon. It's really awesome. It's a nice rig. You don't have to put it in the dark. It just goes. So that's fun fermentation. Yay! Plus the stuff from the garden. It's the same thing. Food is food. Whatever you drink is like a food. So, you know, if you're drinking healthy probiotic drinks, your stomach, your gut, your second brain is going to be happy. And that makes your first brain happy. So I promote health. Thanks.